I'm Andrew Walker and I'm representing the SA Property Investors Network. And what we do at the SA Property Investors Network and why we care is we help aspiring investors connect together. We help people move forward, we connect all the dots for our investors. So yesterday I was doing a presentation on rundown distressed properties. And if you sat there watching this and you have no idea what a distressed property is, a typical distressed property will be a property that may be run down. It could be 20 years old, 40 years old, 80 years old. So imagine if you walk into a property and it stinks and it runs, it's run, you know, it's, it's run down. The, the kitchen's broken, the windows are broken, the roof is broken. A distressed property is a property that needs to be renovated that we can then offer to our first time buyers. One of the key questions I always get asked is, Andrew, if I want to become an investor and I want to do distressed properties, how can I extract value out the property? Now, depending where you're buying will, will, will depend on our strategy with this. If you want to get into the property space, whether it's going to be your first investment purchase, your second or third, first thing you must ask yourself is, what's your strategy? Are we doing buy to let? Are we doing distressed? Do we want to do back to back deals? Whatever it might be. If it's going to be distressed, the reason why you're going to do this is you want to create capital. So you'll want to go into a property and you'll want to renovate it, sell it to make a profit. You may then take the profit and reinvest that into a buy to let. That's completely up to you. And you know, why would a seller sell? Just think about this for a second. There are some sellers out there, unfortunately, who are struggling. They can't keep the maintenance up on their property. They can't even provide a COC. That there might be some arrears or debts against the property. So this is where we can help the general public by coming forward, striking a deal with the owner, selling the property, helping them move forward, and then we make a profit out the deal. I always get asked, Andrew, what are, what are your golden nuggets or what are some tips that you can offer me if I want to do a distressed property? So if you're starting out in property and you want to get into distressed properties, I've got two golden nuggets for you. Let's keep this simple. Regardless where you live in South Africa, choose an older area. Because if you choose a new area, you ain't going to find any rundown or distressed properties. But if we're going to the older areas where people have lived there for 20, 30, 40 years, this is where you'll find the stock. My second golden nugget, because you're starting out or you're growing your, your portfolio, for now, let's stick to properties below the million rand level. What I've personally found is the properties below a million, for me personally, move very quickly. Whereas if we're in the three millions, or four millions, or five millions, what I find is that your buyers are less at that level. So start below the million in the older areas.